Good morning, Patrick Henry. Today is Friday, February the 5th. Welcome to Friday Morning Meeting. We're going to start off with our VIP and our pledge. And our fifth grader this week is Sierra Durrett. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, teachers, students, and staff. My name is Sierra Durrett, and today I will be talking about perseverance. In the dictionary, perseverance means to persist in spite of difficulties. My definition of perseverance is not stopping until you're proud. You should always show perseverance. That's because if you don't, then you will just give up and not be able to try again. Here's an example of perseverance. I'm sure you've heard of Bethany Hamilton. If not, she's a famous surfer who lost her arm due to a shark attack back in 2003. Bethany's attack was very severe, but that did not stop her from getting back in the water and keep surfing. Now she is a mom of two kids and is still winning surf competitions to this day. One of her famous quotes is, I don't need easy, I just need possible. This quote means that she doesn't care if it's hard, she just needs it to be possible. If it is, then she's going to use perseverance to try again. One time that I had to use perseverance was when I broke my wrist and had to wear a full arm cast. I couldn't go to swim practice or meets because it wasn't waterproof. After a while, when my wrist got better, I got a waterproof cast so I could go back to swimming. After I got my cast off, my wrist felt very weak, but that did not stop me from swimming and other hobbies. Just like Bethany Hamilton, I encourage you to use perseverance every day. Thank you for your time and have a wonderful Friday. My name is Grace Maida, and this is Spirit. He lives in the majestic mountains. My name is Aiden Canty, and my animal is Flying Wolf. It lives in majestic mountains. Hi everyone, my name is Olivia Teague, and this is my animal, the Kobe. Hey, my name is Declan. My animal's habitat is the Majestic Mountains, and its name is a chicken head. Hi, my name is Margaret Friedlein. My animal's name is Flagner, and it lives on Jungle Island. Hi, my name is Vera. My animal lives on the Jungle Island. My animal's name, the Green Leaf Tail. Thank you. Have a nice day. Hello, my name is Kylan, and my um, animal lives in the Majestic Mountains. It's called the Sticky Footed Mountain Dweller. My name is Carly Burgess, and my animal lives in the Kanubi Desert. And my animal is called a scorpion, scorpion snake. Hello, my name is Christopher White, and my animal lives in the Majestic Mountains, and it is called a web winger. Hi, my name is Waverly Smith, and for my animal adaptation project, I chose Jungle Island, and my animal is Flying Cisco. Hi, my name is Andy Stubblefield, and my, my animal lives in the Majestic Mountains, and it is called the Green Horned Eagle. Hi, I'm Xavier. My my animal name is TNT Bluebird, and its habitat is Plains of Moldovia. Thank you. My name is Donovan Hypel, and the habitat is the Kenobi Desert, and the name of mine is the Kenobi Kamikaze, and this is my picture that I made. Bye. All right, well, thank you, Sierra. That was excellent. You did a fantastic job on your VIP this week, Perseverance. And we also appreciate uh, Miss Swift's class for doing their class presentation. Awesome job, guys. They're amazing, aren't they? Um, it's so fun to see what everyone is learning in the classroom and they're doing a great, great job. So I'm going to go on right now with our kachas for the week. And first of all, Mr. Burke would like to thank uh, and catch Sierra 
Durrett and Alyssa James this week, they both decided to show initiative and work on their VIP speeches ahead of schedule. Sierra was supposed to present next week, and Alyssa isn't scheduled to present for two weeks from now, but both of them decided to start, and in Sierra's case, finish early. Awesome job. Initiative is a very admir admirable quality to have, and I hope to see many more students follow their example. Thank you, Mr. Burke, and thank you for your work with the students every week on the VIPs. You're doing a great job. These, uh, this one is for Noah Farina. Noah has been caught working super hard with his stations and independent time getting his work done. He also has been given his best with groups that he has daily. Um, he has confidence with PALS in the Literacy Lab and he's improving every single day. So you're working really, really hard, Noah, and we are so proud of you. Thank you for paying such close attention to your learning and it will pay off. And um, so thank you, thank you, Noah. This is from Ms. Pendleton. Uh, she would like to recognize Melby, Pearl, Stormy, Joy, and Solana, Stormy, Joy, and Solana. She wants to recognize these students for always being engaged in our lessons. They wait their turn by raising their hands and they demonstrate patience and kindness during the whole group. I appreciate their hard work and their mature, respectful behavior. Ms. Schwartz in fourth grade. She wants to recognize Malachi Roan and Sydney Beck for staying very focused and really taking time during iReady tests. Azrael Calhoun for working well with Ms. Brookman to get his iReady test done. And she also wants to recognize Tyshawn Mead for joining her in the afternoons to catch up on any work and working hard to stay focused during that time. So these are all wonderful, wonderful kachas that the teachers and staff have sent in to me. And I just wanna thank the students for all of their work and the teachers as well. They're doing a fantastic job. Um, to our families out there, our parents and others who are working with our students, thank you from the bottom of my heart. It is a hard job and you all are doing a fantastic job with it and we appreciate you all very, very much. So thank you uh, for your work with our students. And with that, we are going to close out Friday morning meeting. Um, I will see you here next week. Everyone have a great weekend. Bye-bye.